What's up, YouTube? Welcome to New Parenting Training. So today I got two milk frother from Ola Rico. Well, they a brand that from Heidi Eon, and this one is much bigger. It comes in what 20 ounce of capacity, and this one is much smaller. It's coming at 14.1 ounce of capacity. So this one is 550 watts, and this one is 500 watts. I'm gonna unbox this too today. So later on, we're gonna do some testing with uh, milk to see how they fare compared to the two. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so let's start with the smaller one. So this is their brand new product line, and we get to test them out. And let's see, open it up, that's the cap. Uh, so this is the brush, here's the charging base. Ah, here is the milk buffer itself. And the tools are already inside. Oh, they, they come with a spare as well. So one is already open, that's in there. Uh, the other one, you can just save it for later. Okay, manual instruction. All right, so this is the smaller one, the 14 ounce capacity uh, milk frother. So let me open up the bigger one. All right, so let's open up this 20 ounce capacity one. And here is the container. Uh, inside the container uh, has the fluffing disc. Alright, here we go. Right here. Let's see what we have here. A cardboard VIP car here. Oh, let's look inside. Oh, register your product so you can get a uh, warranty and instruction. They come with a brush as well. All right, here is the base. All right, so here are the two side by side. Uh, as you can see, the this one is much bigger than the 14 ounce one. Now, uh, what's really different, aside from the size, is that this one, the container comes off, but the smaller one is actually, uh, is a whole thing. So you cannot separate the two. Now, uh, as far as for the first time usage, uh, all the loose parts, you should wash it with soapy water, warm soapy water, the lid. Oh yeah, and the whisk, this, they are two, two different sizes as well. So all this stuff needs to be washed with soapy water. Now this one, definitely wash with soapy water. Right, as far as for the exterior, you just wipe it down with a damp cloth. Uh, for this, the big one, and for this one as well, you just wipe it down with the uh, damn cloth. Now inside here, use the sponge they provided to kind of wipe, clean the inside. So try not to get water, especially like the bottom, uh, try not to get water there. So this is where the connecting to the electrical outlet is. So yeah, uh, let me go wash this and then we're gonna run some tests. All right, so these two are being washed and clean and dry. And now we're ready to uh, make some foam. And also I just want to test out uh, to make Dalgona coffee. Because uh, last time I did a milk fluffer uh, testing on one of the high Dion product, uh, there was a viewer asking to see if it will be able to make uh, Dalgona coffee as well. So today I'm gonna try that out with this two as well. Now, a couple of things I wanted to mention. Um, so the, the this that come with this two are like very different for this two product. So for the smaller one, the 14 ounce, uh, it, the fluffing this is like this. Now, if you want to fluff the milk, you put the ring onto the disc. Now, if you just want to heat the milk without fluffing it, then you just take out the ring and it would be just the disc by itself without the ring. So now for the big one, there's much more going on here because uh, this has more feature. Now, if you take it apart, you will see this. 
Now same thing as the smaller one, if you just want to heat the milk, you take out the ring and you just leave the this like this. Now if you want to fluff the milk, then you put the ring on. Like this. Now if you want to make chocolate milk, <laughs> yeah, you want to make chocolate drink, you put this ring on top of everything else like this. Now this will break apart the, the chocolate chip or whatever you want to put in there. So this will break that apart and then mix really well with it. So another thing I want to mention is the marking inside the container. Now for the smaller one, uh, the minimum is 100 ml on the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see it. Now the second line, it says max. Now that's for fluffing. That's 200 ml. And the top one is for max heating. That's 400 ml. So just keep that in mind. Now for the big container, uh, the marking is the same. You have the bottom one says minimal. Uh, that's 100 ml. The second line, which is maximum, maximum fluffing. So that's 300 ml for the big container. And the maximum for heating milk is 600 ml. So the buttons function on each machine are pretty much the same. Uh, there's no difference. Let me show you really quick. Once you put it in, when you see this bracket, it just means like it's on the, uh, the, the normal mode, which is 100 Fahrenheit. Now, if you wanted to heat up your milk or fluff it for higher temperature, they have 120. You press this, you get 120. And you press again, you get 140. And 160, that's the maximum. Now, once you set whatever you like, temperature and amount of uh, richness of the fluff you want, then you press the center, center which is the on-off button and also the start button as well. The fall in on this one, this one it shows you which, well, how much foam you want. The minimum, the medium, and like really rich uh, fluff. Now let's run some tests. I'm gonna have the half and half here. I'm gonna pour for each one of them uh, to the minimum, which is 100 ml each. Now for the big one, don't forget uh, to take out this chocolate disc. So this only use it when you need to make chocolate drinks. Uh, so yeah, so leave that aside. Put that in there. All right, so let's pour the milk in. Now, they both have the same function, so they should all come out with the same consistency. Now, what I want to try um, to set the temperature for the small one, I'm gonna do, let's do 120, and with rich foam. And then for this one as well, I'm gonna set the temperature to 120, and also rich foam. Now, I'm gonna start. The big one, a little bit louder than the small one, but um, if you are having only one running, you're not gonna hear much out of it. And my lovely wife is standing by with the stopwatch to see how long it will take for, uh, well, both of them to finish. So one of the thing about this two machine is that it, rem it remembers the setting you had last. So if you set up to a way that you to your liking, then you don't have to uh, change it every time. And now the small one is finished, uh, just under a minute for the small one, and the big one is still going. I wonder why it takes a little bit longer time than the small one. All right, so it's about 20 seconds longer than the small one, but they are now both finished. Open it up. All right, so the small one, ooh. Oh, look at that creaminess. Dude, this is like foamy. All right, let me see the big one. It's a little bit liquidy. Okay, so here are the two. Uh, the setting was the same, same temperature and same texture uh, for the machine to work. 
but it looks like the small one outperformed the big one. Oh, this is a lot of foam. This is also very foamy, but I feel like this is a little bit more liquidy than the small one. So yeah, hmm. But it tastes good nonetheless. All right, so let's make the Dalgona. Dalgona is super easy. That's my kind of to-go drink at home. Uh, whenever I have a chance, I'll just make them. So it's one to one to one ratio. So two tablespoons of water, hot water, hot boiling water, uh, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of instant coffee. Now I always use the Nescafe. Uh, that's the my to-go instant co coffee. It really make the Dalgona really rich. Yeah. Pour in. Ooh. Pour everything in here. All right. So let's see the setting. I'll just use the same setting. So if it's remember, my setting was like 120, 120 uh, Fahrenheit and uh, rich, rich. And then we're just gonna start. Let's see what's. All right, off it goes. All right, so uh, I kind of messed up. So the setting you have to put into the ordinary mode, which is the base mode for temperature. If it's too hot, then the machine would, once it's spin for too long, then it will just stop. It won't make the Dalgona, the consistency of the Dalgona. So right now, yeah, this is much more like Dalgona. This one is still working. All right, just FYI, if you want to make Dalgona, just set it to the lowest temperature setting and the highest fall. So for the small one, this one is done. Yeah, this one is finished. Okay. Both of this are finished. Uh, the big one is still very liquidy. So I am not entirely sure what happened, but for the smaller one, uh, the, the consistency is almost there, but it's also kind of liquidy. So I don't think it makes the Dalgona all that well. Let's see. Oh, so typically we drink it with non-dairy milk. So I have here almond milk with ice. Let's pour it in there. It's still kind of liquidy, but as you can see, it, it stays on top of the milk. So yeah, it's, it's getting there, but it's just not quite there. Uh, this is always good. This is always good. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's see the big one. Uh, yeah, it's too liquidy. Uh, this one would not pass my test. So, hmm, yeah, it's it's not there compared to uh, the other one. You see how thick the foam is. So yeah, it seems like the smaller one performed much better than the larger one <laughs> in terms of the milk fluffing test and also making Dalgona coffee. But the big one has advantage because the container can be separated, easier to maintain and wash. And also uh, contain a little disc that can make you a chocolate drink in the winter. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.